turning now to Livermore, which, if you didn't know, was officially home to the world's fastest supercomputer. Officials say it's being used at the forefront of national security. And our Suji Nam got a rare look inside. Meet El Capitan, the world's fastest and most powerful supercomputer housed in Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. <laughs> well, Pythagoras so, Watson is a team so lead for the El Capitan Advanced Technology System. When people talk about running on high performance computers, this is the main thing. You put two computers in what's known as a blade here. Um, and then you can pack 64 of those into a whole big cabinet here so that gets you 128 nodes. And then you buy 87 of those racks and you get to 11,136 individual computers. More than 11,000 individual computers that come together to help lead the way in all types of research, including national security. We can simulate climate, we can simulate uh, uh, gene folding, um, so all the way up through eventually the simulation of nuclear weapons. El Capitan is in the early access mode, meaning more testing and calculations to eventually process classified information. The $600 million supercomputer will soon run sophisticated calculations that simulate nuclear detonations from the U.S. aging stockpile. Because we stopped doing underground nuclear testing, we needed, a, we needed to replace that with something and replace that with simulating on these very large computers to be able to understand how they age. Livermore Mayor John Marchand says he is proud of the researchers here that have been leading the way to enhance national security measures. It's about ensuring that these, the, the weapons that we have, that when we need them, after they've been sitting there for 40 years, are they going to work? As for computing power at its peak, El Capitan can make 2.79 quintillion calculations per second. Well, what does that mean? Let's say you went back in time 2.79 quintillion seconds, you'd arrive more than 70 billion years before the Big Bang. Actually have results that match our real experiments. <laughs> Watson has been at Lawrence Livermore for 24 years, spending the last eight years developing El Capitan. I really love the fact that this is actually something that uh, really helps the country and the world ultimately in doing this research. Doing research based in the Bay Area, helping protect the nation.